Mm -hmm. uh, there's a list of signatures to be included in the treaty copy of the final act for signature. Yes. Mm -hmm. That uh, the multilateral trade negotiations of the various nations. Yes. <laughs> Could you get me all those signatures? You know, I'm really going to sue you in the World Trade Organization and um, for all the treaty obligations of the enforcement of the laws. Yes. I'm going to look through all the documented evidence that I've given you of violating the United States laws. Yes. And in every nation of the world where their criminal code would make it a crime too. Yeah. I'm going to sue those nations. Mm. Now, uh, the idea of contributing to the delinquency of minors, mm. I email you the actual birth dates of my sons. Yes. You decide to keep them in the wrong grades. Right. You continue to enforce a dissolution of marriage that was issued without any due process. Right. I'm legally liable for the child support order yes. in every nation of the world. Poop. And then when you issue a protection order, you have the forgery of the ex-official Superior Court clerk. Yes. You have the forgery of the petitioner Heidi Lee Budner. Mm -hmm. You have lookalikes that are not my actual spouse, at least at the trial that I was at in 2012. It wasn't her. Yes. Impersonating the parties to a trial. Yes. Mm -hmm. Court hearings, Homeland Security. Yeah. Just give me the criminal code of each and every nation that has agreed to a mutual agreement of the enforcement of the laws of each other's nations. Yes. Because I'm going to sue them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I did say I want my sons. Mm -hmm. Now, for Mike to say that he induced those that have a civil duty to enforce child abuse and exploitation laws. Yes. And I said, no, it's a joke. We're not going to enforce it. I think that you have an organization or association that happens to be conspiratorial against the actual enforcement of the laws. Yes. And then there's the suing of the United States for allowing for the obstructing of my right to actually uh, patent. Yes. Manufacture and sell any of my innovations. Yes. Now this uh, G7, oh, mm, get me their financing. Mm. All $100 billion a year. I'm going to sue those that are competitors for the monopolization of the availability yes. of insuring third world nations. Now, let's say in the past your problem has been flooding. Yes, yes, yes. For every insurance contract that I get with foreign nations, yes. I'm going to throw in one of my HHO gas uh, steam generators. Yes. And I'm going to steam that flood away before it happens. <laughs> For all of those that might be on the Atlantic, the Pacific, or any other ocean of the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every one of you that buys insurance from me, I'm going to have one of these hurricane fighting uh, large desalinators. I'm going to throw it in. <clears throat> For the premium that I'm going to charge you, and it will be lesser expensive yes. than the other global insurers that have been talking to you. <laughs> now, I'm going to want you to get that financing. <clears throat> and the thought was, well, if there is a flood, yes, I can, pre I can prevent it from actually affecting your crops. Yes. If there's a hurricane, a tsunami, I can send the tugboat out at no cost to you, <clears throat> inclusive of your insurance premium. <laughs> Now, for a lot of my competitors, are like, well, this is what I'll do for you. Okay. I'll insure your nation, and if there is a flood, <clears throat> we'll probably have to go to one of these industrialized nations to help us pay for it because the insurance won't cover the cost. Yes. Or if you're one of these that has a, a tsunami. Yes. Indonesia, maybe. You know, I'll, I'm, I'm going to get you a satellite system that's going to watch the temperature of the ocean. Yes. And uh, for all of these that are members of the WTO that said, well, they're helping us get the insurance. We might as well go with Paul. I'm going to make available to every nation of the world that does their insurance with me. Yes. What I would call uh, natural disaster uh, types of technologies. Yes. Now, my big problem has been really the tornado and the earthquake. Yes. I've been working on it. Yes. A lot of people say, well, you can't steam an earth, uh, a tornado. Well, where's the water at? Okay, the thing's always moving. <laughs> you can steam the water from the flood. Yes. You can steam a hurricane. Mm. But you try to grab a hold of a tornado, it gets really involved. 
Now, I'm going to work on the actual insurance costs for any earthquake or uh, any tornado. Yes. But for those of you that have flooding problems, you have hurricane problems, tsunami problems, these different types of problems, different types of problems.